I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting example to find angle between the intersecting lines at the point of intersection. So the question here is find the angle at which lines y equals to 2x minus 3 and y equals to 0.5x intersect. Uh, let us first sketch and then we'll solve the particular question, right? So y equals to 2x minus 3 means the y intercept is at minus 3 and 2x means slope is positive 2. So next point will be 2 up 1 right. So we get this line. So let me sketch one of these lines. We are making rough sketches here, right? So but it serves the purpose, right? So this is our line 1. So we are calling this as line 1. So that is our line 1. Now the second line is half x, right? So that means, uh, uh, or you can say 1 over 2. So you rise 1 and go 2 units to this side and it goes from the origin. So we'll draw a line from the origin with a slope half. So that is the line 2. What we need to find here is the angle between these two lines which is this angle correct which is also same as the other angle so this acute angle is what we need to find how can we find this angle well one way is for each line we can find slope angle so for line one let's find slope angle for line one which is equation y equals to 2x minus 3 we know slope equals to 2 and therefore tan let's call this line 1 let's call this angle as theta so tan theta is equal to 2 and so the angle theta is equals to tan minus two, tan inverse of 2 correct Let's use the calculator. Find this angle. So which is shift tan inverse of 2. And that is equal to, we'll write to um, 63 point, let's say 43 degrees. Okay. Now let us do the same exercise for the other line. So now we'll work for line 2 and find the slope angle. Equation is y equals to 0.5x. That means tan of the angle. Let's call this angle as, we'll call this angle as phi. So tan phi is 0.5. So the angle phi is tan inverse of 0.5. So let's calculate this angle also shift tan inverse 0.5 equals to 26.56 so that is the measurement of the angle phi so what is the angle required so intersecting angle let's call this angle as uh, gamma right so so now Knowing all this, you can easily find the intersection. So angle at intersection is how much? Angle gamma, which is at point of intersection. At point of intersection. Now many different ways. We know external angle is sum of two internal angles. So we know theta should be equal to phi plus gamma. So the angle gamma is basically theta minus phi. Right? So that gives you the answer 63.43 degrees. Take away 26.56 degrees. Right? So we get our angle. Let's do it. 63.43 take away 26.56 gives you in decimals 36.87. Rounding to one decimal place, 
we get 36.9 degrees. Do you see that? So that is how you could find it. So we use the external angle property to finally get the answer. However, you could find this angle with 180 minus theta and then also do it. So you can do alternate methods. However, this is more efficient, right, using external angle. So what we find here is that the angle at which these lines intersect is 36.9 degrees. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. This is a very important question from test point of view. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, share the video with your friends. And if you like and subscribe, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.